making the east side a safe and quiet place to live in, and that has to start. Well, we're going to get rid of those muggers. we got to get rid of them. They're spoiling our reputation. But the first thing I'm going to do is deputize each one of you guys to watch a corner. We'll do it in sections. Then we'll make up a bunch of signals. Hey, Muggs! Yeah. Muggs! Look who's here! What's that? He's my cousin on my mother's side. What's on your father's side? Mustard plaster. You're demoted. It's three times this week you've been demoted. You're not a lowest member in a club. Get out of here and take it with you. He wants to join a club. We ain't taking in any new members. Just wants to pay his dues in advance. Oh, uh, Glimpy. Glimpy, uh, back, Glimpy. You're not demoted anymore. You got your old job back, in fact. Pay dues in advance, huh? Well, that's different. How old are you? Fourteen. How old? Fourteen. That makes twenty-eight. That's a little bit closer. When's your birthday? What do you care? You aren't gonna give me nothing. How do you know? I'm a very magnanimous man. You got a name? Yeah. What is it? Uh, 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 uh thank, thank. Don't rush me. Uh, uh, it's trying to tip my tongue. Uh, I got it. Yeah, you got it. I'm Herbie. You're Herbie. Overwhelmed with yourself because you thought of your own name, ain't you? Overburdened with intelligence. Almost as smart as you are, Glimpy. I tell you. Here, yeah, my cousin. Wouldn't brag about it. You ever belong to any other clubs? Sure. What kind of club? I used to belong to an aviation club. Mm -hmm. Daddy. I'm all right. Flown to an aviation club, huh? Yeah, I flew my own plane for two years. What happened? The rubber band broke. Are you sure you're going to pay your dues in advance? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't have to stand for this idle chatter. I'm the president of this club. Mm, pretty big man. All in favor of admitting Herbie to the club, say aye. 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 No. Uh, you're my cousin. Don't get excited, kid. His vote don't count. I thought you told me you're a big shot. What a liar you are! It's okay. Your vote won't count either. Oh, there's a little matter of dues. That advance. You know, I'd like a little advance on the advance. Yeah. How much you got? Ten cents. That's fine. That'll cover the first month's dues. After that, it's only a nickel a month. There you are, Glimpy. You're the treasurer. You'll be Glimpy's assistant. Okay. Say, Glimpy, let me a time. I don't know you that well. Oh, please, let me a time. Um... Say, Mr. President. Yeah. Here's another dime. What for? For the second and third month's dues. Hey, you're a pretty good member. Maybe you ought to make Limpy your assistant. Just the initiation hat. How long do I have to wear it? Just for the rest of your life. That's a long sentence. Oh, why don't you make it easy on a kid, Chief? Make it for about 99 years. I don't think I can do it. Just try the best you can. Perseverance is a virtue. As president of this club, I now demand that we break up a joint and annul the meeting. Hey, Chief, I'm hungry. Let's go over to Ginsburg and get something to eat with my dime. What do you mean your dime? I just gave you two dimes. I loaned Herbie a dime. What are you, in a London business? What do you think, this is a non-profit organization? You see, you worked on my good nature, and I got hit. Don't come here anymore. This job may require a little diplomatic handling, so I better go in alone. I'll go with you, Muggs, in case you need help. Okay, but the rest of you guys stay here. I said the rest of you guys stay here. Oh. You located the trouble, Oscar? Yes, sir. I'll have it fixed in a few minutes. I'm going to the drugstore to phone. I'll be right back. Wait here. Yes, sir. Come on, kid. Be right with you.
keep walking on your trap shut and you won't get hurt. Hey, fellas, come here. Look, there's a mugging going on in that alley. Hey, Mutz! What's the trouble? There's a mugging going on in that alley over there. Yeah, let's go take a look. Hey, I think they sneak up behind you, mister. Well, unfortunately, I have an eye to the back of my head. You ain't got a stiff neck, have you? You can look around once in a while. I didn't realize I was in such a bad neighborhood. What do you mean, bad neighborhood? Those muggers don't live around here. Well, have you noticed this neighborhood is as pure as Pittsburgh snow? But please, now, I'm sorry I offended you boys, because you really saved me from a severe beating. Eh, maybe a beating would have done you good, huh, Mug? Stop making with the cracks. Can't you see this guy's a gentleman? He's got on a white collar and a tie. Must be entrenched well. Well, I'm a shorn lamb at the moment, boys, but uh, if you look me up tomorrow, I'll take care of you. Here's my card. Ah, uh, forget it. We'd have done the same thing for any old Joe. Yes, I believe you would. Well, good night, boys. Right. Good night, Take it easy and stay out of dark alleys. Hey, what are you trying to call up for? Since when are you telling me what to do? Oh, you told me. Let's look for that car. Yeah. Come on. Cut me! Cut! Look what I found! Hey, Muggs. Look at the traveling showcase the old boy's riding around in. I'll bet he'd have slipped us a saw about the feast if he hadn't been cleaned out. Yeah, I bet he would have. Wonder what he's doing down this neck of the woods anyway. I'll tell you what. What? You hold the wallet, I'll hold the money. Who's gonna hold you? Well, we've done our good deed for the day. We got nothing to worry about. Aren't you satisfied with the wallet? No, I should have the towel we're wrapped around. Oh, let's go get the wallet. Hey, Mom, hey, Mom, look what we found. A million dollars, maybe even a thousand. The monkey must have dropped. Oh, we're rich. It's president of the club. I'll take charge of it. I'm treasurer. So what? You only handle the tinkling money. I take care of the cabbage. Well, what a club we're going to have, huh? What do you mean, what a club we're going to have? The first thing in the morning, this dog goes back to Mr. Hi-Hat. Uh-uh. Find it, keep it, lose it, weep it. Loser's weepers, huh? Well, you're the loser. Don't feel bad, Clippy. Muggs is right. You don't belong to us anyway. I'm gonna take this down to the club and hide it until tomorrow. Oh, Muggs, let me hold it for a second, huh? No. Two seconds? No. No. On second thought, I think I will let you hold it. It's discriminating evidence. You boys keep an eye on it. Hey, let me hold half. It's a very small half. Baby, it's all grateful. I introduce your nice friends and stuff like... Don't apologize. Let me get out of the door. All right. Stand where you are, you mugs. Hey, there's only one guy named Muggs around here, and that's him. Muggs, eh? It's a good name, and it fits all of you. Why do they always put new cops on his beat for? To clean up the mugging in this district. Wait a minute there. Where'd you get that? Got something I saved up from the Christmas club? I'll take care of that. Come on, you boys, take a little ride. We did a whole lot of weed. Hey, we did a whole lot of weed. We did a whole lot of weed. We did a whole lot of weed. What about my constitution? After you, chum. Oh, you want me to go first? Come on, boys, climb in. Oh, no, I didn't say his office. Bring his home. You know, the least you could do is let me get in touch with my mother. Uh-huh. Philadelphia lawyer couldn't get you out of this jam, Sonny. Look, Cap, if you took one look at my face, you could tell I got an honest kisser. Yeah, if you were to wash that face, maybe we could see a little better. What is this, a beauty parlor or a police station? Yeah. And quiet, and quiet, quiet. Hello, Cortland's home? Yes. If this is the Cortland residence. Oh, is this Mr. John H. Cortland? No, no, no. I want to speak to him. This is a police station. Certainly. Just a moment, please. Scotland, you're wanted on the telephone, sir. Mm. 
Hello? Yes, this is John Corton speaking. Was I mugged? What? Oh, you mean was I robbed? I certainly was. I intended to report it to you, but... No, no, you don't have to, Mr. Cartman. We've already picked up the mothers. Now, if you can come right over to the station and identify them. Thank you. All right, Jim, lock them up. What do you mean? What do you got? What do you can't tell us what we're doing, because we ain't going to do it. Yeah, well, we ain't going to do it, see? You're to be congratulated on the prompt efficiency of your department, Captain. Uh, purely routine, Mr. Cartman. All right, now, boys. And why? Why not that? Well, Mr. Cartman, see if you can identify any of these youngsters. I can identify every one of them. Oh, that's fine. Splendid. See, he knows it. Quiet, what? quiet. Well, why shouldn't I be able to identify them? These are the boys who rescued me. Oh, come, come now, Mr. Corbin. You're not going to fall for a run around like that, surely. Well, I never even saw the men who waylaid me. Oh, that's just it. I'm telling you, we caught these youngsters red-handed with your pocketbook on them. Ah, your prejudice. No confidence. I told you we found it. Certainly. They recuperated it from an ash can. Me and Hoiby. I'm Hoiby. Hiya, Hoiby. All right. Well, what's the purpose of arguing? You've simply made a mistake, Captain. I know that these boys are innocent. And if they say they found the pocketbook, well, I believe them. Hear that? He believes us. What did I tell you about my honest face? Well, someone around here is simply dumb. I'll give you three guesses. One, two, three. I'm sorry this happened, boys. Uh, don't be so exhilarated about it. We all make mistakes. That's why they put erasers on lead pencils. <laughs> and you're a mug. And they pick you up from mugging. That's a pretty good job. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think man. it's very funny. Well, perhaps not. <laughs> well, here's your pocketbook, Mr. Gordon. Thank you. Maybe he'll give us a reward, huh? Yeah, maybe he'll give us enough to buy some gymnasium equipment for our club. Huh? So you boys are interested in gymnasiums, eh? Well, now I'll tell you what. You come out to my home in the morning, and perhaps I can arrange a reward for you worth your while. Yeah, but what about that uh, with the measles? All right, now, now, boy, you're free. Go on, clear out of here. Go ahead. I should make you eat this. What well, I do now? Oh, I'll, I'll be seeing you later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh leave my cousin alone. Make me silly. Well, Captain, if I can be of any further service to you, just call it. Hey, Ivy, we almost got 30 years. We beat the case, don't we? Yeah, I can't wait. Hey, look at that. Hey, stick up. How does he get around with such a big car? Can I give you a lift, boy? Take it. Let's go. Free ride. Come on. Back here. No, thanks. We'll use our legs. They're safer. I understand. Well, good night, boys. Uh, I'll be looking uh, forward to seeing you in the morning. Don't look too hard, because you may not find us. That's right. Get off, then. All right, what is it? Nothing we're checking on me for. Hey, look, fellas, I'm a radiator cat. Did I just tell him to get off there? Yeah. Well, that means you, too. What do you Don't want? Don't touch my cousin Herbie. You might hurt him. I'll take your cousin Herbie and hit you on the head with him. No reward, no nothing. First no, guy no, ever no, spent his no, life no, driving no, around no, the hurry. No, 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 I'm telling you, there's no future in it. So we go up to this hi hat's house. So what? So maybe we'll get some money. Herbie's fresh out of money, ain't you, Herbie? Why do I care about Herbie? I'm in favor of getting the whole ink in it. Not me. Look, Muggs. What's with that Muggs there? Mr. President to you. Dude. All right, Mr. President. The point is this. If we go up to this guy's house, maybe he'll give us some real dough. Then we can get some gymnasium equipment. That's right. All right, all right, right. Yeah. All, right all right, all right. So we'll take a vote on it. All those in favor of going up to this Cortland's house, say aye. Aye. Oh, steamroller politics, huh? Won't you yes, man? Go up there, but just remember, I was against it. The meeting is now consummated. Hey, if we get that equipment, I'm going to build you up make it very strong. Hey, Cliffy, give it a buzz. All right, give it a buzz. <laughs> That, that's the bell, the bell. The bell, who's that? All right, all right. Why does it always take them so long to answer these places where they got money? That's the Hoyt Lord, the upper crust. The 400. Why is there 400? Might be 398. Yes. Guess what? Do you wish to see someone? Certainly we wish to see someone. What do you think we're doing here? The boys would like to talk to Mr. Cortland. Yeah, tell them the boys are here that saved this bacon last night. Bacon? Hey, you know, moolah, cabbage, potatoes. 
You know, the stuff you buy food with if you got the points. I shall tell Mr. Cortland you're here. Uh, there's another entrance below this. Please to use it. Please to use it. What's the matter with this entrance? Maybe it's not wide enough. Maybe it's not wide enough. It's wide enough for him. It's wide enough for us. Use the uh, side uh, entrance there. I haven't done it since what I worked at Jim's place delivering Can you imagine us having to go through that side entrance? Miss <laughs> Bevan. Yes, sir. Has my son been called yet? No, sir. He was out quite late last night. Mm, out late again, eh? Well, who was that rang the doorbell? A crowd of urchins asking for you, sir. Well, why didn't you let them in? Let them in? I sent them down to the other entrance, sir. Well, you shouldn't have done that. They're friends of mine. Really, sir? Yes. Oh, you guys, we shouldn't have come down here in the first place. Maybe they're not all. Pretty bad service. Bad time. Fine, boy. Be confident, or he's really, really going to hear from me. I'll let them in from below. I guess he changed his mind about seeing us. Yeah. yeah. Let's go back to the club. Yeah, That's a good idea. Good morning, boys. Good morning, Lance. Good morning. 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 Good Properly directed, disciplined, and what have you got? Apple pie. Well, that's right, in a sense, apple pie. The kind that mothers make. You know what typifies good, sound Americanism? Did you ever know a boy who liked apple pie who ever went wrong? Yes. Yeah. Used to love apple pie. Wound up with 43 bullets in his belly. Now, listen, you push-faced little sawed-off pickle, you. Whether you like it or not, I sort of like you. And don't ask me why. I told you boys I had something here I thought might interest you. So come along. By the time we get around to it. Hey, I thought they only had these type of places in movies. This is where my oldest son uh, held for it. But he won't be using it for some time now, and my younger son doesn't go in for athletics. Oh, well, very nice, but where do we fit into the picture? It belongs to you boys, any time, night or day. Oh, well, it's different. Let's oh. take a look. Oh. 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 Oh, this reminds me of the time I was in Central Park. Bought my fishing line with me, but I didn't need it because the fish would jump in the boat. All I had to do was hit him in the head with the oars. Hey, Harvey! Look at it, look! Look at me! I'm a cowboy then. Yeah, a Bowery cowboy. Hey, that's good. Hey, it's I even get seasick. I feel like a Walter Bill. Stop it, will you stop it? What do you think I am, a genius? I don't know how to stop this thing. Oh, Harvey, come on. Oh, Harvey. Mr. Collins, Mr. Collins. Yes. Can you make this thing go long? <laughs> there you go again. Always getting yourself in trouble. What do I do now? You didn't do nothing. You just rattle up those two brains you got left. Nobody will be able to do anything with you now. Hey, tell him, tell him. I won't tell him nothing. You're wrong this time. Oh, that thing. I'll show you how a drugstore cowboy rides. Oh, she does. Uh, by the way, uh, Stephen, did you send these boys down to the servant's entrance because uh, they weren't dressed? Is Speak up, my good man. Speak up. They appeared hardly respectable, sir. He just mad because we didn't have a monkey suit on like him. I beg your pardon? Oh, the prisoner type, huh? Look, I wouldn't give you a pardon if you faked all night. Well, never mind, Stefan. But hereafter, remember, my friends call on me through the main door. Just as you say, sir. Remember that, Zeppelin head. Time is a blue door. Let's try. Oh, my good man. There is old boy a little awkward on your feet there, ain't you? Mr. Colton, you will please accept my resignation. I will not. You're fired. You can't do this to me. I have rights. I stand on them. Anything you stand on, second off, will beaten. There is old boy excommunicated. Fired. Bounce out in your rear. My daughter will pay you off, uh, Spevens. I hope she pays you off in bagels. <sighs> <laughs> the boys didn't mean any harm, Mr. Corlin. I hope they ain't inconveniencing you by making you get rid of that barrage balloon. Forget it. I was going to fire him anyway. Well, what do you say? How do you like the, uh, uh, joint? Well, it's right along the lines of something we was going to put up in the clubhouse. Then it's a deal? Well, I don't know. How about that other son of yours, the one that's away? Well, he's overseas, flying for Uncle Sam. Yeah? Yeah, I thought rich kids didn't have enough smokes to fly. Shut up. Ooh. Pardon the detrusion, Mr. Corbin. Secretary, 
Chairman and President of the Eastside Social Improvement and Athletic Club, we wish to acknowledge and receive and accept this gymnasium for our personal use pro tem ad infinitum. Well, thank you, gentlemen. And here's the key to the lower door. And I'd like to donate $50 to the treasury of your club. A lot of money you've got, Bruce. Let me, let me hold it. Oh, get away. $50. Oh, you're Get a pipe down. Yeah? Why, certainly, dear. I'll be right up. Okay, see, there's going to be some regenerating that around here. We're all going to turn over new leaves. Yeah? What are we going to do with the old ones? Save them for posterity. Why don't you shut up? You see this? Yeah, what about it? The <laughs> one Jane kid. Hey, boys, oh, as long as you're going to be uh, in and out of here, perhaps you'd better come upstairs with me and meet my daughter. It's a good idea. How old is she? Oh, you're so mean. You're mean, huh? This is Louise Cortland. I want to verify my appointment for today. Yes, yes, thank you. Louise, I want you to... Father, what were you thinking of if I settled on a time like this? His nose was too high, but don't worry, dear. We'll get another butler. And another maid and another cook. They've all left with seven. And I'm to entertain tonight for Lieutenant the Frey. I'm chicken. Father, you might I be a chicken. chicken. Oh, it's real pheasant. Blue-blooded pheasant. Oh, Next week you go out with girls. Not this week. Friday, now, please. We have company. Oh, I'm sorry. Boys, I want you to meet my daughter, Louise. And she's really a very nice girl. How are you? Hello. Hello. Nice to meet the gang. Flippy, Skinny Dave, Rocky, Lou, and Slug. Hey, you forgot Hoybee. It's all right, I forgot myself too, but let's not be technical about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to know you all. And I'm afraid I owe you an apology. But you see, all of our servants have left, and I'm entertaining tonight for a very dear friend. Yes, yeah, so we heard, so we heard. What did you say your name was? Well, I didn't say. It's Muggs. I'm glad to know you, Muggs. Glad to know you too. I hope I see more of you. You will. You will. You see your old man there, that is, your father there, he told us we could use the gym downstairs. That's a wonderful idea, Dad. Now, I hope you'll excuse me. I have a very important engagement. Bye. Happy yes, engagement. sir. Good See luck, Roy. Happy engagement. <laughs> Let's go down and examine that equipment. Well, wait a minute, boys. I want you to meet my son, Roy. Roy, I want you to meet these boys. Uh, Muggs, uh, Flippy. I'm afraid I've forgotten your other names. I'm Hoybe. I'm Roy. Hi, Hello. Howdy, howdy. howdy. Well, son, what happened to your hand? Oh, it's nothing. I, I just sprained it. I've invited these boys to use the gymnasium. Oh, really? Gee, I did. Well, what's the harm? You never use it, Roy. Oh, I guess it's all right. Hey, Frank. Yeah. Okay. Let's get out warm up a little bit. Get a little chilly here. All right. Talk, man. Hey, man, Sharpie. See you, kid. See you later. Uh, Roy, I want to have a little talk with you. I haven't had a chance to tell you before. But last night I was attacked and robbed. You were? Yes, and those boys you just met not only recovered my pocketbook, but saved me from a possible beating. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry if I was rude to them. I thought you would be. Sit down. Roy, is anything bothering you? Are you in any kind of trouble? No, of course not. What do you ask? Oh, I was just wondering, that's all. Hey, you guys. You notice the bandage on that Colton kid's hand? Yeah, so what? Said he sprained it. Maybe he's cutting out too many paper dollars lately. Maybe so. He could have done it hitting a brick wall, too. Are you saying he's the guy who took a poke at you last night in the alley? I'm not saying nothing. I'm doing a lot of thinking. Ah, oh, Mug, get back on your heels from meeting that swell gal. Hey, Muggs, you know something? You never told me he was such a lady killer. Before your brother John went away, he was so much alike. But since then, well, you seem to have changed. Honest, Dad, there's nothing the matter with me. It's just that I... Oh, stop worrying about me, will you? You're staying out late at night. Everybody stays up late these oh, days. not preaching, Roy. I, I'm just trying to be friendly. Oh, I know that most boys have their troubles sometimes. Or perhaps you've been disappointed or something. Or perhaps I... We both miss your brother. You know what I mean. Sure, I know what you mean. I guess I don't deserve a dad like you. Well, good morning, Captain. Oh. Come in. Good morning, Mr. Gordon. How are you? Oh, pretty good. You happen to be in the neighborhood. So to drop by and say hello to you. Fine. All right, where are you going? Just going out. I want you to meet Captain Matthews. Oh, 
Hello, Roy. Just paying a little friendly visit is all. Glad to know you. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll be going. Well, Captain, let's sit down. Thanks. How have you been? Fine, thanks. Just the same. I'd like to know those guys out at Mug Cortland. Ah, what are you worried about? It ain't our funeral. It ain't our funeral, huh? They're just ruining our name, that's all. Just slanderizing us. First thing you know, people will be going around calling us the East Side Kids. You're right. I never thought of it that way. You never think, period. Sorry to intrude, boys, but Captain Matthews is anxious to get a more detailed description of the fellows who attacked me last night, so... Oh, no, 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 no. Now, listen, boys, Mr. Corkman here is pretty well convinced me of your innocence. But I thought you might be able to give me some sort of a hint, uh, some sort of a description which I could, uh, sort of... Well, Lux thinks, uh, what are you drooling about when he says I'm going to bust you right in the lonics? Wait, but did I say anything? Yeah. Look, we don't know nothing. We ain't gonna inscribe nobody. Yeah, but listen, boys. These muggers have been working right here in your own neighborhood. I thought as a matter of pride that... What do you mean? Well, You're trying to say we ain't got no pride in our neighborhood? Look, we got lots of pride. More pride than you think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all right, boys. Forget it. All right, boys. I'm sorry that I was a part of this intrusion. Yeah, I like that pride. Why, what is that you like those coppers? What you? Oh, why don't you keep quiet? Go on back and punch your bag. Okay. I think we'd better get out of here. Yeah, but Muggs, old man Corlin didn't mean nothing personal. I know that, but I got a lot of thinking of doing a... Imagine we ought to go someplace else and do it. Yeah, let's go. What are you doing? You told me to punch the bag. Yeah, yeah, I told you to punch the bag. So what? Should the bag punch back. Get out of here. What's the matter with you? I'm going to talk to you. Hi, Mr. Well, did you get some servants for your party yet? No, I suppose it's the war. I haven't been able to find a cook or a maid. Uh -huh. Oh, boys, I'd like you to meet to Lieutenant Andre Dupre. I'm sorry, but I don't know your real name. Oh, Muggs, Muggs, just Muggs, capital Muggs. It is an honor and a pleasure, Monsieur Muggs. My gentlemen. You too, Monsieur. Right. What's with the thing there? Do you mean you could run that shindig with just a cook and a maid? Yes, I, I suppose so. That's all I wanted to know. Let's go, boys. See you later, Mr. Monsieur. Monsieur, Monsieur. The American. Hey, look. This thing's like kids. Hello, Roy. Hi, kid. Hello, fellas. Why don't you grab yourself a cue? Right him up, Spike. What was your idea trying to take a poke at me last night? Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you had no reason to hit that fellow like you did. Come out of here, going soft? Do I look soft? Skip it. Go ahead, break him up. Hey, where's the dough from last night? Twelve bucks? Is that all? That's right. I thought that old guy would have at least a grand on him. Yeah. Oh, great thing. Here, kid. Forget it. Hey, what is this forget it routine? The way you refuse money, you think you're working with us for the fun of it. Maybe I am. I don't get you, kid. What plays? Who are you, anyhow? Look, Crafty, I don't ask you any questions, so don't ask me any. Understand? Ma chérie, your music it is divine. Thank you, Andre. It makes me long to fly away with you to my villa on the Riviera, to my beloved France. You make it all sound so romantic, Andre. Hi, Miss Cortland. Oh, look, we brought you some hired help. What do you mean, ain't no hired help? 
Tell Mr. Cortland, my old lady here, that is, my mother used to be a cook at the Biltmore's. Yeah, and my mother used to work for the Whitley's. She was the best chambermaid they had. Let me. I was the housekeeper a few months now. You told me chambermaid. Why don't you keep your mouth shut? And seeing as how you've been so nice to our young'uns, we thought... See, Mr. Cortland, we didn't want your daughter to be disappointed about the party she wanted to throw. Well, I'm very, very glad to meet the mothers of such unusual boys. I'll have you meet my daughter. Come right along. Hey, look at this house, huh? Real one. Excuse me just a moment, please. Certainly. I shall fight for my country, my honor. But more, I shall fight for you, my little white dog. Oh, Mrs. Cotla. Hello. Louise, will you come out in the hall a moment, please? Yes, sir. Excuse me, Andre. Yes, certainly. Please, these are the mothers of uh, Muggs and Plimpy. They've kindly offered to help out. I'm Mrs. McGinnis. How do you do, Mrs. McGinnis? I'm Mrs. McCloskey. Very glad to know you. Happy to know you. Well, I have to be running along, if you'll excuse me. Goodbye. It's so nice of you to offer to do this. Oh, don't mention it. Oh, that's me. perfectly all right. Would you care to look about now? Oh, as much I would, and there's nothing like getting the job started. Well, that's this right. way, please. Bugs. Get a load of flamingo. Off. Think you're out, kid. Too much competition. What do you mean? That guy wouldn't offer competition to a Yubangi. If that's the way Yubangi looks, I take that last crack back. Out of the kitchen. Ma. This is no place oh, for you, Brad. Oh, oh, okay, Ma. See you later. No, dear. Of course I'm not. I'm pointing from a, a drugstore. Yes, 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 I am. Why not? But you don't know. Yes, yes, of course. I... Okay, okay, I'll meet you there right away. Goodbye. Hello? Will you please send a cab to 472 Sutton Place right away? Thank you. Three months. That guy talks English just as good as we do. Don't be silly. Nobody talks English as good as we do. You rise with my curiosity. Hmm, hey, gentlemen. What'd you say your name was? Hey, Lieutenant Andre Dupre. At your service. Hey, Andre, do you hear about that guy who was walking on the side of the street with the breeze on the side there? At your service? Hey, he begs your pardon. French. Oh, no, 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 that is not the French. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That is the French, as Gleepy speaks it. Arabian boy. You are Miss Cordlet's poor relations, uh, no? Yes? Yeah, no. But if you stay around here long enough, you're gonna see a lot of us from now on. Oh. I take the good. This is bad. How about the medium? Hey, Andy, come here, I want to talk to you. Uh, what is that medal there for? Distinguished service. You mean extinguished, don't you? No. You know something? My brother got two medals. He did? What for? Well, he got one for jumping off the Brooklyn Bridge. And what did he get the other one for? For getting killed when he landed. Hey! But where's your old shoulder pads? Please. <coughs> control yourself, Lumpy. Control yourself. Hey, Andre. Still, don't forget about the guy in the seat with the breeze on the street at your service. Uh, what? Still French. Still Arabian. If you leave everything to us, you haven't got a thing to worry about. Well, is it a deal, Mom? It is that much tax and right now, and there's lots of work to be done. You better go on. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. 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 Well, we better get to work. I'm sorry I kept you waiting so long, Andre. For you, I would wait forever. But now, I must go. I have business at the embassy. Then I'll see you this evening. This evening, you'll announce our engagement. We? Perhaps. My sherry. Zigzag Club, 231 Housing. Well, hi, Major. 
see. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Huh. Well, what are you made up for? Where'd you get the fancy suit? From the costumers. I wear it. My new act. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, say, baby, you got a little money for the cabbie. I'm a little fresh out of fun. What, again? Where do you help Say, why don't you get a steady job? Uh, I think maybe I have got one. Well, that's good news. Yeah. Uh, keep it Say, about this act you mentioned, what sort of an act is it? Oh, it's a brand new idea. Very original. <laughs> well, it better not be with any dame. You get that, don't you? Oh, now, Maisie, dear, you know me. Yes, I know you. Oh, now, that's a fine way to talk. Oh, I don't know play square with you. Well, can you pitch it at? Hey, maybe we should tell that other thing. You making reference to Miss Cortland? Well, she ought to know, shouldn't she? I thought maybe we should keep it a secret. Hey, look, what does that mean? Fantastic. I don't know. Probably means she does a fan dance. Oh, without her clothes on, huh? What do you mean, without her clothes on? She's no cover. No cover. No cover charge. That means you don't pay nothing for the tablecloth. Now, come on. We've got an important mission to do. Who wants the tablecloth? Hey, Danny, Danny. Uh, look, it's fine here Tuesday night. Now, Paul. Hey, he's good. Hey, fella. Portman kid. Well, what do you know? Hey, how do you figure a rich kid like him playing around with those guys? I don't figure. They don't add up. Wait till Muggs hears about this. Well, maybe Muggs was right about him after all. Yeah, he was beginning to think that he was. Come on, let's go back to the club. Right, let's go. Hello, boys. Hi, Miss Cortland. Hello. You got something important to tell you. What is it? Well, it's uh, kind of personal. I'll come right in. About the, uh... Sit down. Oh, sure, thanks. It's about that lieutenant friend of yours. You mean my fiancé? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You don't really expect to marry that guy, do you? Well, I'd plan to keep our engagement a secret, but... I may announce it tonight at the party. You know, Miss Cortland, marriage is a very confiscated and detrimental affair. You can't rush into it too headstrong. <laughs> Mark, what are you talking about? Well... The guy may not be exactly right for you. I mean, you're a very nice girl. He may not be your type. Mark's just trying to tell you the guy's a phony. He's out after your money. He's even got another girl. Oh, please, boys. Who gave you the right to intrude on my private affairs? We didn't mean this truth, Miss Portland. We just telling you the truth. I don't want to hear any nonsense. Uh, that's the way you feel about it. I guess we better go. We probably made a mistake. You won't be mad at us, will you? Well, no, but I think you boys better keep your gymnasium. Maybe you're right. Bye now. Hi. How do you like that? She just wasn't in the mood, I guess. Ah, eh, dames are all alike, dumb like me. Impossible. Just the same, she ain't gonna marry that guy because I got other plans. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like Mugs or Glumpy's coming. Say, you know, I wonder if they went back to the gym. Maybe we ought to go look for them, huh? All right. You don't have to look for us. Hey, Mugs, we've been waiting for you. We found out some circumstantial evidence against the Gordon kid. Yeah, we saw the kid playing pool over in Finks with those two characters we tangled with last night. Did, huh? Maybe we better call this meet in order. Yeah. What are you doing? Taking down your order. Oh! Shut up! So you saw this Cortland kid playing pool and things with a couple of Jacobos. So what? That don't prove nothing bona fide against them. It's 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 good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Dummy up. Look, kids like him don't pal around with those guys for nothing. They must be up to something. Maybe you and I should tell the cops. We ain't gonna tell them nothing until we get the goods on them. In the meantime, another matter has arisen which demands our immediate attention. Mr. and Mrs. Barnes, may I present Lieutenant Andre Dupre? Madame. It is a pleasure, I assure you. Sir? Here, here, what's going on here? Don't you know we need those things? Now, if you're going to stay at the other end of the kitchen, please. On you go, everyone, eat. Go on, now, yeah, come on, come on, get out of here. Don't you dare. Mrs. Russell, may I present to Lieutenant Andre Dupre? Madame? Sit down there. And Mr. Van Sickle, Lieutenant Dupre. Sit down there. Look for yourself. 
men and women are so beautiful. Why, that low down double. Look at him. I'll tear him apart. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Better to use a little finesse. You can't rush into this thing. But he can't get away with Excuse this. Excuse me, no, son. You can't be precipitate. Hi, Ma. Oh, that's, uh, that's Miss, uh, Miss, Miss May. Yeah, Miss May, the new maid. She's come to serve the drinks, you know. Come on. Oh. Uh, give me that uh, apron what? there. Uh, give me those silver parts. Quiet, quick. genius. We're going to serve the drinks, you know. New maid, new maid. Yeah, put that apron on quick. Give me the drinks, Ma. Great maid. Got it from the agency. Five percent down. Remember, don't be too melodrastic. This we gotta see. This is our giant. Cocktail? Oh, me. Happy D. I see. What's the matter? You seem so nervous. Don't you feel well? Oh, oh. No, I, I feel fine, thank you. Oh, but I, I just remember a most important telephone call I might make. You will excuse me, please? Of course. You know where the phone is. Indeed. Just listen, I can explain. I think your loss of accent explains a lot. Huh. I can explain a lot more. Please don't. Just take your brawl or whatever it is outside. Dear, you don't understand. I understand that. enough. Please leave. But my little white dove, I... What am I, a black Menorca? Oh, you... You fixed everything up fine, didn't you? You just ruined my whole career. Oh! I'll ruin your whole career! Oh! I do say so myself. You handle that very diplomatically and energetically. Well, he deserved it. Nice kid. Good to her mother. Never goes home. Nice work, boys. You mean you're not mad? No, of course not. Handle it with skill. I'm great. Hey, you know we're thinking of forming a club to take care of Daffy Dings? You're gonna pass the hat around? Yeah. Well, start passing it. What kind of way is that to talk to a blossoming debutante? Clubs. Miss Corbin, if I said anything to offend you, I thank you. Dinner's already, man. Thank you. I hope these brats haven't been causing you any trouble. Oh, no, of course not. Far from it. Hey, Ma, in case you run short of dish rags or something, why, there's a... Oh, and speaking about dish rags, come on, it's a good idea. Into the kitchen, both of you. Why don't you keep your big mouth shut? Well, I gotta say nothing. I regret to announce that our good friend, Lieutenant Andre Dupre, was suddenly called away on important business. I hope you'll accept his sincere apologies. And now if you go to the dining room, you'll find your face cards on the table. Hey, gang. We're getting ready to stow the chow. Stow the chow? Hey, something like that. We've got a little business to attend to. What happened to your young lieutenant, Louise? As your friend Muggs would say, the lieutenant was a phone. Well, that's what I suspected all the time. <laughs> you better not get into any mischief, any of you. We're not going to get into any. We might cause a little low. You, you know. better not, dear. Yes, oh, we were in the wasp. We're still we're getting 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 Don't look like it. Take Take that's it. John Crotton live here? Yeah, he lives here, shorty. Eh, uh, don't give me that shorty. Don't be bitter about it. Uh, listen, here, I got a telegram for him. I'll take it. Fine here. Right. There's no smoking around here. I ain't smoking. 
got a cigarette in your mouth, haven't you? Sure, I just chewed on my feet, but I ain't walking. Thanks. This is very important. You gotta get it right away. From the water pump. The water pump, eh? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yes, I have a letter from uh, John Jr. last week. He's just been made a first lieutenant. Oh, you must be very proud, Mr. Courtney. I am indeed. Uh, Roy tried to enlist, too, but they turned him down on account of his eyes. There's nothing the matter with my eyesight. What are you doing, Mom? I'm fixing the turkey. That's good. <laughs> the, uh, Thomas Cotton like to see him in the hall for a minute. Is there anything wrong, son? Oh, no, no. Not exactly. Just like to talk to him. Oh, oh thanks. Yeah, sure. Hey, Hoyt, look at this cat. Yeah, nice one. Hey, Hoyt, what do you think of this boy? Sure. Wait a minute, Oh, you dope. The half this cat that was on the kid. Yeah. Mom, your mother said you wanted to see me. Yeah, of course, Mom. He's got a telephone for you. He didn't think he'd want to read it in front of all those people. Oh, that's right. Consider that, Mom. Thanks. Bad news. Don't deserve a break like that, Mr. Corton. Small fellow like you. Just don't figure. A few worse, I guess. I still have one son left. What do you mean, uh, yeah? Yeah, that's right. We've got one son left. Let's go see Bob. Hey, Bob, you found a Shut up. We'll talk about that later. Bob made such bad news about his son. One that's a flyer. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. He walked his feet. My daughter's party. I'll be all right. Just help me upstairs to my room, please. Come in, Nicole. Five to ten. Give him a hand. Sure. Monster. Take it easy now. Steady. Excuse me a minute, please. Which room is yours, Mr. Paul? Right here. Set up one of those pillows. Father, what's the matter? Are you ill? No, no, he just had a faint spell, Miss Corton. We didn't call you because he has us not disturbed the party. Don't be alarmed, dear. It's nothing serious. Just the same, I'll call Dr. Miller. Shh. 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 Hello, Doctor. This is Louise Cortland. I'm sorry to disturb you. My father doesn't feel very well. Could you come right over? Thank you. We've just had some bad news. You mean... so excited about. What did you find? This cat. He wore it last night. Yeah, that proves he's a mugger, all right. Then I tell Mr. Corbin about this. And after what just happened. He'd probably kick over if he found out his other kid was a crook. Uh, maybe Roy in his bed as we paint him. Oh, look, he's a mugger, ain't he? Maybe so. You know, they had rich kids that kind of got bored with life, you know, and they just went into a thing like that, the excitement they got out of it. You mean this Corbin kid's being pushed around by something? Like being bored with life? That's the idea. Might even be dragged into it by a few other guys. Yeah, right, get it. Hey, maybe we could help Roy. His old men would even have to know about it. 
do you think I've been trying to say, stupid? I'm not stupid. Yeah, you're not stupid. You just got as short as your corrugations in the cerebellum. Oh, that's different. Hey, Mose, is that contagious? I don't know. I read it in a book. Mm. Pardon me, please. Time for him to be going out. Better investigate that. I give you three guesses where he's going. Let's use a guess and let's tail him. Need about 20 more pointers, you'll be all right. You know that. Look good to me. Hey, what took you so long, kid? What's the idea of that soup and fish? He looks pretty, doesn't he? Never mind that. I came down here tonight to tell you fellas I'm through. What do you mean, through? Hold your steam. You can't walk out on us like that. Be yourself. Hey, Lefty. Look out there. What do you kids want around here? We didn't come in to shoot pool. We'd like to have a little talk with Roy here. You're coming with us. I am not. Oh, yes, you are. Are you ready for Wreck this joint? Ah, uh, shut up, buddy. We were minding our own business when those guys jumped it. We ought to sue you. Well, that's it. What do you guys want with that kid, Roy? None of your business, Latin boy. Oh, yeah? Let me work him over, will you, Lefty? No, nah, not here. Come on, let's take him along with us. Study my clothes. What do you tramps think you're getting away with? You, pal. You haven't anything on me. That's what you think. Who are those two geraniums have been hanging out in the pool room with? It's none of your business. Take your hands Take it easy. Me. All right, bring them down to club. Hey, wait a minute. We can't take them to the club. The cops might come there. That's right. We'll bring them down to his old man's place. Wait a minute. Where's Skinny? Oh. Must still be back in the pool room. Hey, Glimpy and Herb, go look him up. Okay, okay Chief. Chief. Let's go. If you don't come peacefully, carry him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's take a walk. Tie him up. I'll be right back. Gonna make a phone call. Uh, what am I doing? This isn't kind of your father. Leave my father out of it. Uh-huh. You know, with the evidence we got on you, we could put you in jail behind the bars. Go ahead. My father will have me out just like that. Don't be so exorbitant about it. Now, you're the million-dollar kid. Nobody can touch you. Nobody can lay a hand on you, huh? Hey, Dave, give me those gloves. What? Take off that obligatory suit and coat there. I don't want to soil any garments when I'm doing my work. You ask for it. I ask for it. <laughs> Before I get through with you, you'll be sorry you didn't use this gymnasium for playgrounds. That was pool rooms and streets. You ain't going to be able to see nothing. Come on, tie those gloves. Oh, yeah, my ear. What are you making with those fancy nails? Hey, what's the matter? Your hands cold. Where's Skinny? We couldn't find him. Yeah, we looked all over him, too. We'll take care of that later. What's going on here? Oh, we're going to have a little boxing match. He's going to fight you? Good what's the matter? Are you crazy? You're going to get murdered. Don't forget, markers are King's very rules. I can't stand blood. Me neither. Come here, boy. Let's get out here where we got a little room. Oh, I don't need any room. Oh, no, I don't need any room, but he's liable to get a room when he falls. See you, man. I want it. I want it. How is it a couple of boys before I get one? Come on, get in there. 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 Come on, it's me. Take it easy, kid. Take it easy. Throw it in there. Throw your right. Oh, get up. 
That's a good thing. Now get over there and sit down. I want to have a little talk with you. It's beating out there. But I didn't have to do it. Because all the time you're beating yourself. You're beating your own purpose in life. For instance, why are you hanging out with those two Gelards at Fink's pool? I don't know. I don't know why I did it. I didn't have to. My dad gives me plenty of money. I do what those guys. What were their names? Oh, well, look. I may be rotten, but I'm no squealer. You're getting into this thing pretty deep, Roy. There's something that happened that I think you ought to know. It's about your brother. What about my brother? He killed. And the only son your brother's got left. I think it's about time you straightened yourself out. Hello, boys. Call them. What are you doing prowling around this time of night? You're supposed to be sick. Remember that spell you had? Why? I've been waiting up. There's something I wanted to tell you. About John. Yeah, I... I know. She was a swell brother. Better son to you than me. He's trying to say, Mr. Corbin, is that uh, you know what he means. Yes. I know. Father, what are you doing down here? Why, well, I just came down to say good night to the boys. Well, you shouldn't be out of bed. Roy, someone telephoned you by the name of Lefty. Lefty? Oh, that's a friend of mine. Sure, good old Lefty. He said if any talking was done, something might happen to Skinny. Skinny? Oh, yeah, 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 Skinny. Well, uh, see, sometimes they call Skinny Lefty and Lefty Skinny. It's, it's very confusing. Roy, do you have a friend by the name of Lefty? No, he's no friend of mine. Totally, he's my friend. I know him. Well, come on, Father, you better get back to bed. Good night, boys. It appears like this guy Lefty is holding up how skinny as a hostage. Are you with us or against us? Of course I'm with you. They live over on the west side. I'll take you there. That's fine. Boys, we're going over on the west side and have a little practice. Take off those tools of destruction. Okay. Now you get right back to bed. And don't you disobey the doctor's orders again. I won't. Good night. Good night. Let's go. Hello? I'd like to speak to Captain Matthews, please. There it is. Okay, you're not gonna do it. We'll take care of the rest. Who is it? It's Roy. Now you're going home and forget about this whole thing. Just what nothing. Going home, I ain't steering you wrong. How'd you happen to miss this? My bad eyes. Never do nothing thorough, do you?
Yeah. All right, roll him in. Well, Captain, you wanted us to find a crook who was decorating our neighborhood and giving us a bad name. Well, we finally put the finger on him. Yeah, looks like they have more than a finger put on them. What's the evidence? All right, it's ten of them. I mean nine. I got one bed. We caught him red-handed. We'll swear to it. All right, what do you guys got to say? Ask him why they didn't bring the other guy in. Yeah, he's got delusions. Oh, yeah? There's a couple of things I want to... I'm to do, man. Still, uh, slap happy, you know, punchy. Back in his heels with him. No other guy, no other guy. See him. Lock him up. All right. Come on, you folks. All right, now, you boys. Come on. Who do you ever remember the outfit? Captain, I told you 33 times there is no other man. Shut up. Cops is never satisfied. You I want the name of the other mugger. Who was I? You don't know enough to get it. It's okay, I'll take my medicine. You're Roy Portland, aren't you? That's right, Captain. But he ain't no member of nothing. He's just got the loot nation to the Corindium Collium vertebrate air. What? Yeah, he fell on his head when he was a baby. This looks serious for you, Roy. Captain, Roy comes from a good family. He's got a great old man. You know, you met him. He's got a swell brother. He's a flyer in his service. As he was, he killed him. Guilty. Sister, she's a regular peach. Roy here, sides the blue, or off the beaten pathway. Just did it because he was looking for excitement, like his brother. Can't let this old man know about it because just break him up and he's really a sweet guy. Roy here is too. Regular thoroughbred if there ever was one. That is, he is since we beat some sense into him. He done anything wrong. He didn't really mean anything bad by it, Captain. Honest, he didn't. I understand. Roy, I'm going to release you on your own recognizance. Later, where well, there is such a thing as a suspended sentence. Especially if these boys can plead your case to the court as well as they have to me. Hey, you hear what he said? Now, there's someone waiting here to take you home. Dad. Hello, Roy. I... It's all right. I think you boys all know how I feel. Uh, it's all right. right. Hey, Mug. That was a very good deed of yours. Oh, we were just protecting our own interests. You know, Captain, I never liked cops very much. I'm beginning to realize I was wrong. But you're really a regular guy. I'd like to shake your hand. Well, thank you, Mark. Subsequently, this event will go down into the history of the East Side Social Improvement Club as their greatest deed. Signed, Muggs McGinnis, President and Treasurer. You got that, Secretary? Right, Mr. President. Yes, well. And there's one more. Fox, Fox! Cousin Ivy, how are you? You come say hello to me? Be quiet. What's the matter with you? I just found out that you're not my cousin. Who told you that? But I long talked with my parents. They told me that... It's Muggs that... Leave the vault. Here's that murder. 